Well, hello, happy Friday, and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Jennifer Broom. And I'm Derek Shore. We are so excited it's Friday, and we're even more excited because we have a jam-packed show for you all today. Yeah, there is so much going on, starting out with this lovely lady. You probably know her from NBC's The Voice. Mary Sarah is here singing Without You. Take it away. Sarah, I gotta ask you, is that an autobiographical song? Who's it written about? Oh my gosh, I can't give away my secrets, but I will admit it might be an ex-boyfriend. Might be so. about a boy. Listen, a lot of us know you from The Voice, but yeah. you actually started singing in church when you were eight years old? I did, yes. It's, it's crazy how long I've actually been singing. So I started when I was eight and then actually went on tour with Kids Bop when I was 12 and then um, started my Bridges Project, a duets at 15 and then The Voice and it's just all kind of happening. The Bridges Project though, I mean a huge thing. You have sung with so many amazing country legends, Dolly Parton, Jolene. I 
I mean, come on, girl. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, what's funny, too, is Jolene and with Dolly, it was the first song on the record, too. And so I think I think once we got Dolly on there, the rest of the artists were like, okay, it's verified. It's like, this is she's this is good, good. yeah. Is there any, I mean, Do she's such a legend. I actually she's just amazing. saw Dolly in concert on Sunday night. One of my favorite people in the world. She's amazing in concert, Fantastic. too. And she's I like 71 her. years old. Do you have a favorite of all these legends you sang with? You can't ask me you that. <laughs> Out of all of them, I don't. I, I can never say my favorite because I feel like I have like so many different experiences with each of them. You know, I've been able to sing with Merle on stage and Willie on stage, and you know things that happen. So I Willie, don't have a favorite, as but as a Willie. <laughs> okay, I have to. I have to tell you. I have to say on Bridges though, her song with Vince Gill is off the charts. But I want to know: Is there anybody that you haven't sung with that is on your bucket list? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. Um, actually, I just recently met Trisha Yearwood, and I mm. love her. And the thing is, is when I met her, you know, when you like have someone that you look up to, and you hope that they're exactly what you think, and she is. She's so sweet. She's never changed. She's always been just a sweet, kind person. And uh, it made it motivated me more. I'm like, I so want to work with her and like sing with her one day. She's got an amazing voice. Now, so. what about Pam Tillis? Of course, Pam Tillis yeah. is a country legend and yeah. did some crossover into the pop charts. Oh yeah. You're opening for her tonight. Yes, in Rockport Seafair. It's going to be so awesome. Uh, we got like an hour set before Pam, and then uh, we're just going to be hanging out. I got merch and selling CDs, and uh, y'all should come say hi. So Without You, that is your new single that is coming out soon. You also have a new album that's coming out in the near future. Yeah, so I've been working very hard on the new stuff. Um, you know, after the show, I went back to Nashville and was like, you know what, my fans really want my music, and so I've kind of dived in, I guess, to songwriting and really, I don't want to rush it too much because, you know, I don't want to lose the artistry of things, but I do, I want to get some music out there for my fans, so uh, it's going to be coming soon, y'all, so just be patient. I mean, how much <laughs> of your time is spent in Houston, in Nashville, on tour, because you seem like your schedule is yeah. a little aggressive. You're here live on Channel 2 right I now. I know, in the Tonight. gallery, I'm like, what? Gallery. <laughs> is this crazy? It's people? crazy. So yeah. when do you have downtime, or do you? I don't really have downtime but you know I love what I do and I love to travel I love to sing I love to meet fans um, and so what I do I mean it's kind of calming to me anyways you know to be on stage and to get to perform and, and my band's awesome I love these guys to hang with them uh, but we are we're super busy we're flying everywhere so it's it's gonna be a crazy journey here and Hope to keep booking more dates. So. so let's talk about one of my favorite shows, The Voice, that helped to catapult you to a whole nother level. What was it like when you got that four chair turn? Honestly, I tried not to go in with too many expectations. So really, I was like, just one chair turning is like, I'm in. Like, I got in the show, you know? And so once Adam Levine turned around, because he was the first one, I was like, I'm done. I got this. I'm good. So I think when I felt that, too, it kind of like made me relax and like finish the song without being so nervous. Because <laughs> when I first got out there, I mean, it's just crazy. It's surreal because it's silent. And I literally like heard my heels clicking on the floor, and I'm like, Okay, I got this, I got this. Like, and see the chairs, and you're like, there are stars behind those chairs. Like, it was crazy. And then to have a four chair turn was just, you know, humbling, really. Is that the most nerve wracking moment of your career so far? Because I'm sure for a lot of us regular <laughs> folks, it's sort of a, a relief to know that you get nervous. Because we yeah, all get nervous, right? Always. Well, you know, a friend of mine, Larry Gatlin, he told me that nerves are just butterflies. Wait a minute, that's Larry Gatlin of the Gatlin yeah. Brothers? <laughs> He's amazing, and actually, probably the biggest moment so far that I've been like severely nervous about and I could not get rid of was the my first Opry appearance, uh, the Grand Ole Opry um, in Nashville, and that was like, I couldn't shake it, and I think that's just because it's the Grand Ole Opry. I mean, yeah. it's such an honor, and uh, and you know, I've gone like three times after, and, and it gets a little easier, but it never changes, and, and I hope it doesn't, because it is such a stage that is so amazing, and so many just legendary people have graced that stage and to be able to be in the circle like that is just honoring. So let's talk about this season of The Voice because I know you have a friend that's competing yeah, right now. Yeah. You know, Miley Cyrus and Alicia Keys seem to have really kind of brought a new life to the show. What do you think of this season? I kind of love it. Um, I think, I think people didn't think Miley would like bring as much, but you know what? I got to work with her during my season and she actually helped tremendously, like for each of us. You know, we were kind of all surprised. We didn't know what to expect when working with her and she really did. She brought her A-game. I did You Ain't Woman Enough and she said that her and her mom used to listen to that song um, in the kitchen when she was little. And so she knew, she had such a wide range of genres she's kind of been in and worked with. And um, so I think, I think having the girls on there is a really good thing. Mary so. Sarah, we would yeah. love to spend more time. We're out of time with you though, unfortunately. <laughs> 
definitely. Yeah, want to let folks know, though, at home, they can follow you on MarySarah.com. You can mind playing us in a break? Uh, of course. All right, and coming up next, Houston Happenings for your weekend. Take it away. I've got a new song move on that I'm singing to. i got a thr-